Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. I have here a Citroen. It's a C4 Picasso. Okay, so what I've done is I've just reset the faults. So this has had all sorts of emissions errors popping up. So if we have a look at the fault codes right now, we're going to have nothing there. But obviously after a few minutes or so, we're going to get an error pop back up. We're going to go into the live data and I'll show you what happens here. See, I've already diagnosed this car in the past and the customer has come back now to have it fixed. So... We're going to look at Dinox system. Sorry, I don't know if it's in Dinox 1. Yep, we'll just select all of these. So we're waiting on the Dinox bleed system status, which is waiting. Uh, we're going to increase the revs a bit, up to about 2000 RPM, for a couple of minutes. Now the vehicle is already hot. You can see there we've got 4 bar pressure reading from the AdBlue tank. Once this starts to bleed up, we should then receive sort of a 5.5 to 6 bar pressure here. If that doesn't happen, then we know we've got an AdBlue tank error. It's a very common fault with the pump. Okay, you can see pressurization phase has started, but we're not getting any sort of pressure increase here. So now, very shortly, once that's finished doing the pressurization pressur pressurization phase, we should get an error pop up here for the emissions and add blue system and also maybe an engine management light. So I've already done this video before. Um, I don't really make as many videos as I used to, only because I'm generally doing sort of the same repairs day in, day out, and I don't want to bore you with the same repairs daily, but I don't think I've done one of these for probably six months at least. So We'll update you with another little video here on it. So I'm just waiting now, just holding the res up a little bit until it chucks an error up and I will hopefully show you what fault code we get. Okay, so now the fault has popped up. We'll get the camera around and I'll show you. We've got the urea light there flashing, service warning over there. Uh, let's turn the engine off. If, so if we turn it off now and restart it, we should get sort of like an error again. Flash up. Give you like a ping ping. Let's go through. Might take... 20 seconds or so, but it will pop up. Emission to control fault. No engine management light as yet. Now this is the fault that it's got. P20E8, pressure of the urea fluid is too low. So that's the AdBlue tank. So we'll get the car lifted up, we'll get the AdBlue tank off, and let's have a look. Okay, so if we come under the rear of the car, here's the tank, it's held on by some 13mm bolts. Actually, I've taken off a little plastic cover there with a few 10mm bolts holding it, and a couple of these plastic clips. So now we're just going to get the tank dropped down. Okay, so now I've disconnected these two plugs and the inlet hose there. Okay, so that's where the tanks now come off from. And that's it, that's the tank right there. So you've got two plugs that connected on and the outlet for the fluid. So the pump on these is inside this unit here. You can see it's sealed in. And what happens is obviously condensation gets in there. It just ruins the uh, computer board, whatever you call it, that's in there. And then it just fails to, uh, to work. So here's the new tank. I'm just gonna remove the bung from there. Okay, so I'm just filling up the blue tank. Got a special funnel here that we can use for that. And you can add some crystal preventer um, to that. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to get back inside. We're going to clear this fault once more. We'll go back to the data stream again. And Dinox system. Okay, now hold the revs back again. Look at the same thing here. You can see we've got six bar of pressure, and then it steadies out. We're leaving down sort of about five and a half to six bar. So that's a working ad blue tank now. Ok, 
okay some time has gone by you can see there there's no more faults listed on the dash that's it really we're all finished on that one stay in the next video